welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be testing out Amazon's cheapest makeup. So quite a few days ago now, I went onto Amazon and I purchased um, a few items that were the cheapest at the time in that category. The only thing is that I noticed with Amazon is the cheapest changes really, really frequently. Um, so at the time, these products were the cheapest. However, when I looked like a few days later, it already completely changed. So this was the cheapest makeup when I actually purchased these items. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to try these products out. So the types of products I'm going to be testing out are going to be moisturiser, foundation, concealer, powder, blush, lipstick, lip gloss, eyeshadow, mascara and setting spray and also um, a brush set as well. I'm honestly really excited to test these products out. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's get started with the video. The first product that I'm going to be testing out is the clean and clear dual action moisturizer so on amazon this was two pound 33 and to be honest with the amount you get i do think this is pretty good for the price and how i'm going to be testing it is i'm going to be putting some on my hand and i'm going to rub it in and we'll see if it makes my hand like moisturized so i'm going to go ahead and do that now Rub it in. I think I might have applied a bit too much, but we're just gonna rub it in and we're gonna see if it makes my hand feel moisturized. It does feel quite nice when you rub it in, and also what I've noticed is it smells really nice like it has like a nice fragrance, but it isn't like too like fragranted, like the fragrance. The fragrance is quite light, which to me is pretty good because if you've got sensitive skin, you really don't want to be having something that is like harshly fragranced. I do think this is quite moisturising though. Um, like it's moisturised my hand quite a lot. The only thing is my hands feel quite greasy, but that could be because I actually apply too much of it. Um, and I think that is the reason. So if you do add too much of this, it could actually make your face feel greasy or like really oily. But I think if you put on the right amount, I think it will feel fine. Um, so I think I would definitely recommend buying this product because to me for £2.33, you are getting so much product that it's going to last you ages and it actually does the job fine the next product that i'm going to be testing out is the collection lasting perfection weightless foundation and this foundation costed two pound 42 which to me i do think is a decent amount because usually foundations do cost quite a lot um like the foundation that i'm using I think costs at least £18 and I think you maybe get I think you get more than this but like not much more um but I am hoping the quality of this foundation is really really good um that's the only thing because I think the more expensive ones yes they are expensive but to me they are better quality so I'm going to be testing out the quality of this foundation because that could be why it's like so cheap i'm gonna blend it in using a beauty blender and we're gonna see how good it blends out So that is the foundation, like, blended in. Hmm. I'm deciding if this is good or bad. 
at first i thought this foundation was gonna look really really cakey however i actually think it is quite decent like if you blend it in like how you're supposed to i think you do get a nice decent look so i think this product is actually really really good um because like when you look at it it doesn't look cakey whereas with to me like cheaper foundations um they tend to look really really cakey even if you blend them they do look really really cakey but this on the other hand does not look cakey in my opinion it looks pretty good and to me it does have some coverage as well which is really really good for like a foundation so i would definitely use this because it's really really good and i think for the money you get a decent amount and it's also decent quality and if you guys are wondering the shade that i got was warm ivory 2 the next product that i'm going to be testing out is the rimmel match perfection um concealer honestly i am so skeptical about this product because look like half the product is there and then half of it's like up here which i think is very like skeptical and also the price of this this product is two pound 64 two pound 64 and to me you barely get anything like in the product so we're gonna see how it applies and we'll just see if it can actually cover anything up or like is it good we're gonna just see because at the minute it's getting low ratings already just by like how it looks i don't know but anyway to me it's quite weird because it's got like a brush um on here but we're just gonna see we're gonna put on my hand So that is the concealer. Actually, it's looking orange more than anything, um, which I'm not a fan of. It's orange. Look at that. That is my usual skin colour. That is the concealer. That is honestly not the best. But that could just be the shade that I picked. Um... But yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this concealer. Um, to me, it looks quite cakey as well. And obviously, look at the shades. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this product whatsoever. Because, one, look how much you get. You barely get anything. This was nearly £3. And I feel like this wouldn't last long at all. Um, also... It's just orange, though. That It's just orange. Like, I don't know. I'm just not very impressed with this product at all. I'm just too shocked to speak, honestly. Like, the next product I'm going to be testing is the Collection Pressed Powder. So, this was £1.75, which to me is pretty decent. Um... If this is really, really good, then this would be such a good powder to get because it's so cheap um, and to me just so affordable. So I'm really, really hoping this powder is good. Um, the only downside to this is I think I've got the wrong shade. It's really, really light. But luckily, previously, the concealer was so dark, we can see if it can actually lighten um the concealer and i'm gonna be using a beauty blender to put the powder on um it's probably wrong for me to do this but yeah i'm just gonna do it anyway so i'm gonna get some product onto my sponge okay now let's put it on I think it kind of has um, lightened it, like on 
my hand in real life it definitely looks as if it's been lightened slightly um i think it's pretty good the only thing is though my hand is now starting to look pretty cakey that's the only thing but i might have put a bit too much on there that's the only thing i'm thinking of that i've done wrong but i do think this powder is pretty good i'm actually quite impressed with this powder this is amazing and i would recommend getting this um because it's affordable and it actually works in my opinion the next product that i'm going to be testing out is the rimmel london blush so this is in the shade um 050 live pink and this product was £2.57. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad because you don't actually get much product. However, the blush does look pretty good. And it also, like the shape of it looks really, really good as well. Like it's got the United Kingdom flag or the Union Jack um, like indented in the blush which does look pretty cool so i can't wait to like test this out and see if it's good um so we're gonna test it i'm gonna use the beauty blender again and i'm gonna apply it on my hand to like show you um and we're gonna see if it looks good so let's get some on the beauty blender honestly though i am obsessed with the color like it's got such a beautiful like pink and it's so not so glittery but it is glittery it's got a little like shimmer to it which i do love i think you can kind of see it it does add some shimmer but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a brush not a um beauty blend just to make sure look at that oh my god this blush i'm not sure if you guys can tell but my hand looks so glittery and like beautiful that blush is absolutely amazing i'm obsessed with this blush i usually don't wear blush i mean i do very rarely but I don't wear it often, so usually I'm not, like, impressed with blushes. But this one is amazing. The next products that I'm going to be testing out is this lipstick. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Silk Creamy Lipstick, and it is in the shade Hot Paris Pink. And if I open it, look how beautiful this shade is. It looks so pretty. Um, and this product was £1.99, which for me, for a lipstick, that's a pretty decent price. Um, to me, at the moment, the only downside to this lipstick is it definitely feels quite cheap. This formula of lipstick is so creamy. It's absolutely amazing. Oh my god. And the colour, though, that is amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as what it is. That is a pretty decent looking lipstick. Considering how cheap it is, I wasn't expecting this to be good. Um, so yeah, this has surprised me. But like, good surprise. This lipstick is pretty good and I love the colour. I love the pigment of it and I love how it applies. It applies so nicely and it's not one of them lipsticks that would like chap your lips to me this would actually moisturize your lips as well which is another decent thing so yeah i'm just so impressed with this the next product that i'm going to be testing out is this lip gloss it is the collection lock and hold lip gloss um honestly though i'm obsessed with this color and the shade is beatbox 2 um and this lip gloss was one pound 77 which i do think is pretty decent for a lip gloss um 
I am just obsessed with this colour though. Look how beautiful this lip gloss is. Now I'm going to put it on my hand and we're going to see what it looks like. And it smells of strawberries. Oh my god, it smells amazing, this lip gloss. Let's put it like here. Ooh. The only downside to this, I mean, the shade is really, really good and I do like it. This lip gloss is sticky. That's the only downside that I see to this. And also, the colour is quite watered down, but obviously that is part of the lip gloss. So I'm not mad at that. But the, yeah, the colour that you see now, that is really, really good. I do like that. Um, the only downside to this that I actually see is that it is quite sticky. Um, which I'm not really a big fan of a sticky lip gloss, really. But if that's the only con, then I think this product's really, really good. This next product is the um, Technique Matte Six Colour Eyeshadow Palette. This eyeshadow palette is amazing. It just looks amazing already. And this was only £2.16, but you get six eyeshadows which already impresses me so much and it's so cute because it comes with a double-sided like applicator which is so cute so now i'm gonna be testing these shades and we're gonna see how good they are so let's start off with a tiny bit of the white i'm gonna put this on my arm Oh, I'm very impressed with that shade. Um, let's test out the next colour in, which is a nice nude colour. These shades are definitely very natural, which I think is pretty good, because I think people would actually wear these. Um, the downside is you can barely see them. That's the only thing. Um, but that could be because I haven't added enough. Um, then I'm going to be putting on this shade. Well, to be honest, though, these are quite, like, lighter shades. So you probably aren't going to see these very well on camera. That one you can see. But to me, they're just, like, blending with your skin. Like, this is where I applied them. I can feel that they're there, but they just don't show up on camera. Um, so, so far, I'm not very impressed because, yes, you get the colours, but... They just, like, completely blend into your skin. Like, you can't even, like, tell they're there anymore. Let's now test out the darker shades. So we've got this one here. That one you can actually see right there. Let's test out the darker brown. Yeah, you can see the darker colours. And then the black, I think you'll be able to see. Yeah, that's there. Let me swatch the others then, but like on like a bit, a bit of my arm. Okay, so I think the darker shades are pretty good, but like the lighter shades I'm a bit disappointed with because um, I'm just disappointed that you can't actually see them. Um... But what I think you might be able to do is, is I think with this, I think it's better to apply the dark colours first and then the lighter ones on top. I think that's maybe what you're meant to do with this palette. Um, because then I think these would definitely brighten up these shades, which is maybe like how you're meant to like use this palette. But other than that, I'm a bit disappointed with like the lighter shades. So... Hi everyone, so I'm doing a quick voiceover because I definitely have changed my mind on these eyeshadows. I do actually like them um, because I do think you are actually meant to combine the lighter shades with the darker shades to like make it to the shade that you want. Um, so yeah, these eyeshadows are actually pretty good though, like especially like for the cost as well. Um, so these are definitely getting a thumbs up from me. 
I actually have three more things left to test out. So the first thing that I have left to test out is the Technique Mega Lash Water Resistant Mascara. And this mascara was £2.79, which in my opinion is a pretty good price for a mascara of this size. Um, and also, look how thick the brush is. I think that brush looks so good. I think it will do such an amazing job. But I'm actually going to be testing it out when I do a full face using all this makeup. So I will tell you guys how it is um, once I've tested um, this out. The next product is actually a set of makeup brushes. So when I apply... Um, the makeup that I've bought for this video, I'm going to be using all these brushes um, so we can test the quality. But it comes in such a cute bag, which you could literally use it's like a pencil case. It comes with like a powder puff, which looks really, really good quality. And then it comes with all of these brushes. Look how many there are like look how many i'm just so shocked and to me they all seem pretty like decent quality like, look at that definitely decent quality brushes i'm so impressed and these makeup brushes um were five pound 94 but you get 12 brushes plus the case and i think this is included in the amount of brushes that you get but still i think that's pretty good for the price i'm just so excited to like test them but i'm already impressed with them with like how they look they don't seem cheap at all they actually seem like decent quality brushes the final product that i'm going to be testing out is this technique setting spray and this setting spray to me is quite expensive it is three pound forty but at the time, this was the cheapest one on Amazon. Um, but look how small this setting spray is. I was honestly expecting it to be so much bigger. There we are. Okay, so now, oh my god, look, it's running. It's removing some of the makeup. Okay, so I'm going to wait until this like, dries. And then when it dries, I'm going to give you guys an update on it. Um, so I'll come back when this is fully dry. Is what it looks like after 10 minutes. So now I'm going to use my other finger and I'm going to like move it around. And we're going to see if it moves Oh my god, it does. Literally, look. If I was moving this, it literally smudges. And it's dry. That is not a good setting spray at all. It's literally moving. And it's literally, like, gone pretty much now. Okay, I am very disappointed with the setting spray. Because it was £3.40 for this small thing. And it is terrible, in my opinion. Okay, would not recommend this. this foundation so it is the collection lasting perfection weightless foundation and i'll put the price on screen so you guys know how much this is so i actually wrote a note of what i was thinking about the product so i wrote that when i applied it it just looks so cakey even after me blending it in multiple times like really really well it still looked really really cakey and it kind of always had the look that i hadn't like blended it in properly even though i literally had um also it was so irritating on my skin like when i was starting to like, apply it it immediately started like tingling on my face and 
to me with foundations that is wrong you should never feel like it's like really really tingly on your skin so i don't think i like the ingredients in this because i think they must use quite harsh ingredients um and as i've already said it was really hard to blend as well um the only positive that i could actually see with this is that it does have a bit more coverage than my usual foundation yeah. technique mega lash water resistant mascara i love this mascara i think it's actually gonna be my new favorite mascara because look how much you get in the packaging i think it's amazing and i'm obsessed with the brush that brush is so amazing and just so satisfying to look at um there is only one downside um and that's when you first apply it it is a little bit sticky but that goes away in like just two minutes or something so i don't really sell that as like much of a problem really um but because it's got a thicker brush or like applicator if it loads not it focuses um because it's quite bigger than like usual mascaras you actually don't need that many layers to actually make it look good on your face which is honestly amazing makeup brushes so as you can see i have used quite a few of them to actually apply the makeup this sponge is honestly so good for applying powder and also this sponge actually works as like a flat beauty blender as well and it just applies things so easily the blush this brush is amazing um i then used these two brushes as well beauty brushes i'm really good um and then these are the ones i didn't really get a chance to use but these brushes are just so good like quality wise they make applying the makeup so much more easier um it's amazing plus it comes with a cute little like storage um place for them to go or you can even use this as like um a pencil case you can put whatever you want in it really um it's just so cute i definitely would recommend getting these brushes Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually starting a brand new series on my channel. Um, I'm basically going to be buying makeup from different places and I'm going to be testing it out. So I'm going to try and do these videos roughly every two months. So stay tuned because um, in about two months time, I'm going to be doing another video like this. You know, in the comments, is there any makeup type of video that you want to see on my channel? Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye everyone.